Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny and this is Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a collective read. So if you were drawn to the title of this video, there could be a message in this reading for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pull an oracle card. Focus on children. I'm going to get started with your reading just to let you know this is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my booking information. It'll take you to my website. That's the only way to really get a reading with me. I'll never respond to a comment. And I'm not ever going to reach out to you with anything concerning me trying to give you a reading. I'm not that thirsty. Like, um, I'm not doing that. <laughs> if anyone is interested in reading, you can reach out. If you're not, then you're not. All right, there'll be success for you, regardless of what happens here. Uh, you're in an energy right now, trying to take care of yourself as much as possible, uh, possibly also working on your finances. The person on your mind could be dealing with a Scorpio. They're showing up as a tower. They could be going through a lot on their end. Probably has nothing to do with you, to be honest with you. I'm not really getting a lot of communication or a lot of actual physical seeing each other here. Um, the mutual energy is the emperor. It's very much, um, I feel like both of you are maybe not budging to start something new because the crossing energy is the ace of pentacles. So there could be something new here, but it's like no one's budging to start something new. You're seeing this person as everything you ever wanted. And they're kind of spying on you, you know? I feel like they check up on you a lot, that kind of thing. Online stalking even, something along those lines. You're not, your actions towards this are not being sure what to do. I take that as inaction, to be honest. Um, and their actions toward you are kind of the same. I feel inaction and just a lot of maybe regret or thinking about the past, thinking about what could have went different, a lot of reminiscing. So, And that's not my card of reminiscing necessarily. I feel like you want to reunite with this person. It just doesn't look clear on how that would actually look. You know, like you'd like it to happen, but you don't actually see it happening in, in your head. You can't visualize it. I feel like they have a lot going on at this time. They're going through a lot of ending of, of cycles. Things between you guys could have ended also. And they're probably thinking of how to restart this, to be honest.
Yeah. You you see this person as like a soulmate. There's a lot of uh you're holding on to this person's energy. I feel like you're hoping there's hope here for maybe in the future, but right now things are too difficult, th things are too heavy. And you feel that way about this person. Like they're going through too much. Possibly you're seeing this to some extent. If you guys aren't talking, you might know some people, you might feel their energy very deeply. But you see this person is going through a lot. They might be watching you and with the five of swords there, it's just showing me that they watch you. They might not, they're not talking to you and they're watching you or they want to reach out and they're not doing it or they're waiting for you to reach out. It's something like that. So take that how it resonates. It's that kind of an energy where they probably are not speaking to you, but they want to speak to you, but they're not doing it. It's probably because they're going through so much at the moment. Honestly, not giving excuses for the other person, but your your brain can handle what it can handle when it can handle it, you know? You want to put up some boundaries with this person because you do see you do see potential here. You do see something here with this person, but I see you putting boundaries up because you're unsure of how this person is going to be with you. Um, so I feel like this is not a new connection at all. This is something that's been in your life. I don't know how long it's been in your life or, or anything like that. I'm not getting time here, but it's been long enough that you already see this person is going through so much and you're willing to kind of like, I see this like, give it a chance, but with your boundaries up, you know, with not your walls up with steady boundaries. So being open to it, not really only emotionally open to it is what I'm getting. I see they want to take action towards you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm telling you, this keeps coming out, the tower. They could be taking action towards you suddenly um, after a period of no movement. Because there is definitely interest here. There's definitely love here. And it could just, there could be nothing going on. All of a sudden, it's going to come in. That's their actions towards you. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles again, right? Like, I didn't want to clarify it, but something just told me clarify it. And this is saying you should have just not clarified it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I said earlier, same thing. The potential of something here, but nobody really taking action towards it. It's showing me that somebody here is still grieving a previous, a previous uh, engagement. It doesn't have to be engagement, like engagement ring type of thing, but a previous relationship or situationship or whatever. They're still grieving that. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I see this person uh, becoming free from something. It doesn't need to be this person, but it is because <laughs> the way it came out. 
It is. It is this person. It's kind of showing me them freeing up, being free of themselves. And this could be a possibility of something in the future. It doesn't show me anything right now. Let me see. These are good cards. I feel like you're not gonna, I feel like you're, you're not gonna be with this person right now. You're not with this person right now. You're coming out in a single energy. So this is this tower moment that they have where they do finally come towards you. It hasn't happened yet. So I feel that you're in a single energy. You and, and this person could be kind of watching each other, thinking about each other, um, fantasizing about each other of what this looks like between you. Um, but it's just not happening yet. Just not happening yet. But it's coming. It's just not happening yet. That's why this is here. Did I really do that? No. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I mixed up the cards. Oh, well. Let me get... I'll take those. Family issues. Bad habits, drug addictions. That could be this person. Because like I said, they're closing out a lot of cycles in their life. It could be repetitive stuff. With that toxic or bad habits card, that gives me the devil, the devil energy. So that's just showing me they could have bad habits maybe in other people. Maybe they choose horrible partners. They have just bad energy around them in general. It could be a toxic habit, you know, maybe over overdoing it with drinking or something like that but that's uh take that how it resonates chasing divination abuser they could be getting readings on you <laughs> and they are definitely going to flip the switch here and chase you it's going to be sudden it's going to be very sudden this person could say anything to you. What will they say? Let me see if these cards cooperate with me. Protected, you are safe and divinely guided. Children, children are important to this partnership. You know, I did see that. Focus on children here, that, and then under here was the Empress. And I didn't really, I didn't point it out, but I should have. So protected, children. I am becoming a better person. I feel like that's this person. They're going through some changes in their life. I don't trust you. Yeah, definitely. This person is going through some changes in their life. They're, they have trust issues. You didn't necessarily need to do anything to this person for this person not to trust you. That's just uh, what they're dealing with on their own side. So... Focus on children. If you already have children or grandchildren, this card is a reminder for you to connect with them and spend more time with your family. Children are a blessing. They really do heal people and bring family members together in a positive way. Look at the children in your life and be thankful of, for the amazing gift that they are to you. If you have children who have passed away, this card confirms that they are safe, happy, and still around you. They love you very much. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it hit, it hit. I'm so glad. Go ahead, click like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.